weaving on a cardboard loom. For the loom, you will need cardboard, ruler, pencil, scissors, or an X-Acto knife with a cutting mat. Making the loom. Cut out a flat rectangle of cardboard. Mark every one quarter inch along the top and bottom edges. Cut a notch into the cardboard at each mark. For weaving, you will need cardboard loom, cotton string for the warp, yarn for the weft, scissors. You may also want large blunt needle, wide tooth comb, ribbon, fabric scraps, brick rack, or other miscellaneous materials, weft. Warp, vertical parallel threads which form the base of the weaving. Weft, horizontal fiber you weave back and forth between the warp threads, which you will see and feel on your finished textile. Stringing the warp. Wind the warp through the slits in the cardboard, leaving a short tail at the beginning and end. Make a zigzag pattern. Long vertical strands on the front and short horizontal strands on the back. Check the tension by strumming the long strands like a guitar. Basic Tabby Weaving Using a blunt needle or your fingers, pass the yarn under the first warp, over the second, under the third, etc. until you get to the end of the row. Pull the yarn through, leaving a short tail at the beginning. Go back the opposite way. If you went over the last warp of the previous row, start this row by going under. Beat the yarn. Scoot it up into place. Leave it loose enough to bubble around the warp. When using a needle, you can pick up several warps at once, just like a running stitch in hand sewing. To weave with just your fingers, pinch and lift each warp as you go under it. Adding more weft, piecing the fiber. Weave your first fiber until it completely runs out. Back up a few warps and weave your new fiber so it overlaps the first, copying its pattern of over and under. Continue weaving like nothing has changed. The warp should always be parallel. 
If you weave too tightly, they will angle in like an hourglass. Adding more weft, knot. Tie your new fiber to the old with a square knot. Tuck the tails in and weave as normal. Adding more weft, loose ends. Leave the fiber until you reach the end of your last full row. Leave that end loose. Start a new row with your new fiber in the usual pattern. Pull the yarn through, leaving a short tail just like at the beginning. You will need to weave these loose ends in later. Continue weaving until the textile is your desired length. Taking it off the loom, fringe. Cut through each horizontal strand of warp on the back of the loom. Pull it off the loom and tie the warps together in groups of two. Taking it off the loom, no fringe. Pull the loops of warp over the prongs of the loom. Pull the warp so the loops snug up against your weaving to make a finished edge.
leaving in the ends. Spread your first tail onto the needle. Poke the needle in the top of the first loop of weft around the first warp, then out immediately underneath. Pull the needle all the way through, then poke it back in the top of that first loop and through the next several loops. Pull the needle all the way through and cut off the excess. Repeat for all loose tails using the nearest loop of weft to your tail, ideally in a matching color. If the tail is too short, poke the needle partway through the loop before you thread the tail onto it. Book Recommendations Cardboard Loom Weaving by Harumi Kageyama 746.14 KAG Weaving Within Reach Beautiful Woven Projects by Hand or by Loom by Anne Weil 746.1 WEI Marianne Moody's Modern Weaver Where Color Meets Loom by Marianne Moody 746.1 MOO Learning to Weave by Deborah Chandler, 746.14 CHA, and many others. Adult Take and Make Kits available at the Second Floor Reference Desk. Find more resources at www.cdpl.lib.in.us and www.creativebug.com.